go ahead and type those in. We won't be doing Q and A today. Uh, John, we're getting feedback. I think it's from you or someone. Someone's unmuted. Um, so we are. Um, if you if you have questions, be sure and put those in the chat window, and then someone will answer those questions uh, later. It is 401. We should probably start and a lot of people still coming in. We're two almost 250 people now. Wow. So we'll wait a few more minutes until everyone gets in. Does John have to keep letting them in? Do they come in automatically? He has to keep letting them in. People are still logging in. Realtors are always late, right? It is. <laughs> It's our yes, nature. It's our nature. We show up a few minutes late. So we'll, we'll give the latecomers a minute or two here. Okay. Well, let me call her and let her know if you still have the plan. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you later. John, you got to make sure everyone's muted. Getting some feedback. Hey, Scott and Rob, Jeff here, Houston, Texas. I wanted to let you know there's an option if you're hosting the Zoom meeting to automatically mute people when they come in. All right, Rozak, if you heard that, if you can mute everyone because they're coming in, that'd be great. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it, Jeff. It's always great to have smart tech people in there. Yes, it is. Hey guys, can you see the videos? There are no videos. Oh, I can see all you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I see two guys in uh, some old school uh, living room chairs. One's got a Hawaiian shirt on, one's got a camo shirt on. I just muted you, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate the feedback. All righty, so I guess we should probably get started. I now. think it's Scott. time to get yeah. started. Very good. So, welcome everybody. Hold on. There we go. Um, we're excited to teach you some information today. Uh, I'm Rob, it's my buddy Scott, and we are here to talk about EXP and what's happening within the, uh, in the real estate world. Um, we all know and remember Blockbuster. Many of us still probably have some of their CDs around the Blockbuster largest business of its kind, multiple billions of dollars in volume. And uh, these guys from Netflix come along, want to be able to uh, do something with them, sell them their software, Blockbuster turns them down. And so they start doing it themselves. And now you've got um, a brick and mortar location that's completely blown out by, by Netflix. We all know that happened. Same thing with Amazon and almost every other retailer today. Amazon's got uh, over 50% of every dollar retail spent in America is Amazon. That's 50 cents out of every dollar spent. That's really incredible. <laughs> and that's what we are doing at eXp by being in the cloud. And every other real estate company that has brick and mortar pretty much is uh, Blockbuster. They just, they just don't know it. And the reason we're able to do all the information uh, that we, that we have and we are able to put together here at XP is because we are cloud-based and therefore we have a significant amount of more money to be able to distribute. This is Glenn Sanford. Glenn was the, um, uh, the fellow that thought of the idea, put it together in uh, 2009. Uh, very bright guy, ex Keller Williams agent, doing millions of dollars in business from, the, you know, from within the cloud. And then 2008 hit and everything sort of fell apart. The sales went down, his overhead didn't go down. He said, I've really got to create a new system, a brand new system and platform in real estate that is gonna make it so that it works in good times or bad. That's right, yeah. and he was one of the first people to build an expansion team, and he had that in multiple markets. And so when the downturn hit him, uh, he was looking for a way to communicate with those agents in all the different markets that he was doing business in. So, you know, I love the fact that EXP was really conceptually created in the downturn, Rob. I mean, I think that speaks a lot to where this company is going. 
Well, there was no question. Now, when Gene Frederick showed me this, I didn't understand exactly what he said. Everybody's an avatar and we walk around, we have our own campus, we have our own world. But once I got into it, it was like one of the coolest things they ever saw. I mean, it's been, I really like, you know, the different departments that they've got. Like when you walk into your regular brick and mortar building, you know, right now, um, you can go into accounting, you can go into marketing, you can go in to see the broker, you can uh, talk to somebody about technology, same kind of thing. Well, we have the very same thing here, but you are instantly there. From the time you just click onto another screen, you're in the world. Their avatar is, uh, let's say it's accounting, you want to talk about a deal that you've done. You talk to them through your computer, it's live, it's interactive, and it saves you a tremendous amount of time getting ready, going to the office, driving into somewhere else, waiting in line. And here, you're just, you're instantly there, available. Their avatars are there. They might not be right there. They could be anywhere in the country, but we have that available um, for everybody. It's a, it really is a great Pretty time. Pretty interesting, saving. too, how this has evolved just in the three years that we've been with the company. I remember a time when if they got over a hundred people and they're sort of exploded. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was like, okay, gang, here, right? we like, have to slow down here. We can't handle the flood. <laughs> yeah, they had like 27 people. Showing so up. it's amazing how far we've come. And I think it really is more and more accepted now. And uh, it truly is great to see agents getting in there and accessing it. And they get stuff done so quickly and in, in so little time compared to what it took to get things done in the brick and mortar model. Well, it was interesting because I remember, I mean, just three years ago, a little over three years ago, we joined EXP, yeah. right? And there was maybe seven, 800 agents. And now we have over 20,000 wow. agents. It's I don't crazy. know how many more it's growing. How did that happen? So massively. It's unbelievable. Well, part of it was the training, yeah. you know, and they get 20 to 30 hours a week of uh, interactive training every single week on virtually any subject that you want right. to see, you know, in real estate. And again, it's it's uh, time management. It is not uh, it's phenomenal. There's it, so much training in there. It's crazy. It really is. And agents are coming, you know, for that training at every level, whether they're new, whether they're building a team, whether they're doing 100 million or 200 million. Either way, another reason why people are coming to EXP is because the CRM and the lead generation and KV Core. KV Core is a system that, if you utilize it correctly, it's a tool. It will create and pump out a tremendous amount of volume. And I have a great sh uh, shout, a great sh shout out. Oh, let me get that out. <laughs> and um, to uh, the people that are utilizing uh, KB Core and Jeff Whitespear, he he is in Houston. Yeah, he was and just on a minute. He was ago. just on a second ago. He's given us some technical expertise. There's a and no, no no wonder why he's doing so good with the CRM. He's doing. He knows good. how to use Zoom. He too. does over 200, 200, 250 deals a year. I'm told that about a third of the deals that he creates are because of KB Core. Um, and I mean, that's 70, 80 transactions a year coming from KB Core. And no, you're not, not that every agent is going to come to EXP and all of a sudden going to get three, 400 leads a month like he does, but he spends time with it. He puts data in and he's able to convert them into, you know, 70, 80 transactions a year. But this is a great tool, and agents by the thousands, I believe, are coming to be able to put it together. But you've got to use the tool. And the cost, if you're outside of our company, is significant. I mean, it's a significant investment for this program. I know we were using it for our team before we came to, to EXP, and it was, you know, seven or $8,000 a year. A year. It could be as much as 10. For our yeah. team. And so the fact that agents get that here as part of their onboarding program is, I mean, if you're not using this program at EXP, you should be because the people that are using it are, are doing very, very well. And Great in business. Absolutely. There's no question about it. So if you need help with that, there are tutorials, there are training, uh, there are classes on the KB Core that are put on by the company. And there are also classes, um, basic agents that put that on too. In fact, I wouldn't even mind if we... Uh, do one of these uh, webinars in the future and just have a complete KV core training program. If that would be of interest to you, we'd, we'd sure love to hear if you guys would like to have that type of information. Uh, we certainly can put that together. If yeah, we maybe want. we could get our friend Jeff to join us since he's the expert. That Well, yeah, that would be, <laughs> hear that Jeff, just saying, right? The next reason that people are coming to, to uh, EXP by droves is the 
the ability for agents to be able to earn and acquire stock multiple different ways. And it's really exciting for just doing the things that you're supposed to do anyway, which is selling real estate. You earn, whoops, you earn shares when you sell your first transaction. We have an agent equity program. I think you get $200, I believe, uh, worth of shares, stock, mm -hmm. when you close your first transaction. And then same we have this, thing when you cap. Same thing when you cap. I think you maybe get more. It could be it's four. Double, right? sure. I think it's double. And then the Asian equity program is fantastic. That's all year long. You can utilize, it's voluntary. You've got to let the company know that you can utilize 5% of your commissions on a monthly basis to buy the stock at a 20% discount. That's, an, That's a no-brainer. It's an automatic no no brain brain. Advantage of that. I mean, it's just, it should be used. I have one agent on my team now that has recently told me that she says, you know, I've now acquired in a little over three years, little right about three years, I've been able to in excess of a million dollars worth of stock. So That's many incredible. success stories across across the board. I mean, I hear them all the time now of agents that have gone through a hardship or something has happened to their family or maybe they couldn't work for a little while and they've been able to. Well, Bob Mangold, remember that? He was oh, there at the lunch yeah. and today. Unbelievable story. He told that story for three stories. Practice, he bounced 18 inches or something like in that. In the hospital for two months. I call him Yo-Yo now. <laughs> <laughs> Just Bob. kidding, Bob. <laughs> You have a new nickname now, Bob. What a, great, yeah. <laughs> what a great story. He was saying his income was going up dramatically every single month. Yeah. While well, he was in the hospital, and, while he was under the And bank. I know he's got a lot of stock because of the discount program, too. So agents across the country, George Antoon, during the hurricane, you know, Katrina in Houston, same thing. He was rescuing agents, you know, in his little boat. He was on CNN. You know, and we hear these stories over and over and over again over the last three years of agents that have hit a hardship. And yet they were able to maintain their livelihood and take care of their families because for once in their lives as a realtor, they're putting money away now because of the stock. And so it truly is a great program. It's very exciting. One thing there we have too is we have an icon program that is uh, for agents that really sell a lot of business. And after you cap, um, you, there's, a, there's a program that you could actually earn your entire $16,000 cap back in company stock. And the, the agents that have done that have acquired a significant amount of stock um, because when we first came aboard a little over three years ago, the stock was right around a dollar, right. something like that. And I think, I mean, it goes up and down, it moves all over. I sure. think today it's hovering somewhere around 10 or 11. I think I got a little at 62 cents. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't quick enough. I started buying it at around two or 240. Yeah, it's amazing. And, uh, but I'm still excited. It's up around 10 or 11. That's a really good deal. It's amazing. That's a great thing for retirement to be able to put that together. But think about it. We've talked strictly about selling lots and lots of real estate. The more real estate you sell, the more stock you earn, the more assets you develop. Let's talk a little more about the ICON program too, because those ICON sure, agents are not only are they getting their cat back, which is awesome, but those are those are producing agents. They're agents that are very, very successful in their markets around the country. And one of the programs or one of the qualifications within that is they have to give back and, and they teach classes. And so when you go into the EXP world and you learn and you go to these educational classes or these training, uh, training programs, you're learning from our icon agents. And so right. what, a, what a huge, because I know at the other companies I've been with, you go to their breakout session, Rob, and you know, they tell you a little bit, but then they, at the end, it's like you got to pull out your credit card. Right. To buy get something. any training. Yeah. And here are icons because they have a lot of stock. They have a lot in, you know, invested in the company. They want to see the company do well. So the culture that we've created here is radically different from the brick and mortar model of the past and the franchise model. Being, uh, you know, an agent ownership and a company of agents that own stock, now they want to give back. And I just think that's huge. It is huge you know, with, without question, to be able to uh, have a part ownership in the company just by selling. And the more that you sell, you can feel the, the difference. I mean, I, I can tell you the three years that I've been here, the agents are more excited about, about And they're more company. willing to help others and too. They you know, just really jump in. Collaboration is unbelievable. You're right. I mean, it's, it's just different. You have to experience that to really appreciate it, I think. Imagine if you, for as long as you've been in real estate, if wherever you were, they had a program like this, that if you sell enough real estate, you become a leader in your community, that you're going to get back virtually all the money that you paid your broker over the last 10, 15, 20 years in stock. 
I mean, in publicly traded stock on the NASDAQ, that's a big deal. I love when you talk about agents and they say they're at, you know, they're at 100%. Right. Elaborate on that, because that's a funny story. Right? Well, I always say, you know, because we have our, our program, every agent is in an 80-20 split until they've paid their cap of 16,000. And I get pushback sometimes by agents that say, whoa, whoa, I'm at 100%. I, I'd never go back to it. 20%, you're crazy, you're nuts. And I go, well, you got to see the whole picture, you know. Let's say that where you are, you're, it's really not 100% because you pay some sort of monthly fee. Like, well, yeah, you know, 100 200 something, but it's very little, right? you know, and okay, fine. And you probably pay some sort of transaction fee. Oh yeah, it's only like $50 or $100 a deal. It's not, you know, that much and okay. And then E and O, yeah, I, I pay E and O. I, kind of, I said, well, by definition, all those things mean you ain't at 100%, <laughs> right. you know, you're 100% less, but it's let's brain, say- Brainwashing. It's, it, it really is brain. We're gonna help you brain flush right now. And that is, I always talk to them. I say, you know, if you, let's say it costs you $6,000 to be where you are, because you're at that 100% company, right? And, and you're only paying your broker maybe 6,000, let's just say as an example, right? Okay? And here you're going to pay 16,000, $10,000 more. And so I, 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 I'll ask them and I'll say, well, what is it you're going to do with that 10,000? Okay. Are you, if you say, well, I'm going to pay bills with it, then you really just because you're not going to pay uh, reptile has just been make sure they're muted. Um, mute them. There you go. Mute them, mute them away. Do that. Working on it. So anyway, I say, you know, what would you do that 10,000? If they say they would invest, I say, what would be a great rate of return? And most people say, well, eight or 10% would be really pretty good. I said, well, what if you could get a 20% rate of return? They go, well, that would be phenomenal. I said, well, what if you could get a 28% rate of return? Well, they can hardly even imagine, right? So I show them this next part. I say, this is the agent revenue share. This is the way that agents share the revenue of agents they've helped bring to the company. And where it says level number one, first level one, those are agents that you personally enroll. And you earn, this is amazing, but let's say- How many can you do there? How many, I mean, on your first level, how many can you You can get? have it unlimited. You know, the, the goal for the big players is 100 right. on the first That's level. What I was That's the big one. Get 100 on your first level. Talk to people consistently, right. persistently, pleasantly, yes. you know. And um, let's say you get one agent. If that agent closes two and a half or $3 million, they're going to pay their 80000 right? Well, you they're going to pay their 20% to the company up to 80000 Well, when you pay that 20%, you actually get 3.5%. The company gets 16 and a half. Right. So you're getting a percentage of those commissions up to $2,800 a year. And you does get, that agent have to cap for you to get No, paid? You, on every single deal, every time they close a transaction, you're going to get paid until they've capped. If they cap, you make $2,800. And $2,800 for the year at 10000 is 28%. So if you want 100%, you find four agents that do that or 10 agents that right. do that. And the one thing I tell people all the time on this is let's say that you just I love this phrase, 10 who get 10. If you can get 10 agents and each one of those 10 get 10, you'd have about 100 agents, right? And what I tell people all the time is we like the part of the system is we do lunch and learns, where we do this presentation for lunch. We provide lunch because we know realtors will do anything for food. And so we'll bring them, say, free lunch, yep. free food, actually. They show up. They show up. <laughs> and we have a pack room today in Scottsdale. And every Wednesday, Scottsdale, Arizona. Every Wednesday at noon, Scottsdale, Arizona, we've got a a lunch and learn going on. And now in Gilbert, every every, every Thursday, Thursday noon, we thing. got another one going on. And before long, we're going to be in Awatuki every Tuesday. Love it. Tuki Tuesdays. <laughs> and um, so agents have a chance to bring them. And if you, let's say you, we said, if you bring somebody once a week, you do that for 50 weeks, you have 50 different people see it. Do you think it's possible that you can get four or five or 10 of those that would say, this is really cool. Well, let's say you only got three, yeah. right? And it took you three years of doing that, you'd have 10. Right. And if those 10 do the same thing in three years, they would each have 10. There's you don't so want people on my team. That's all they've done in the last three years is just bring someone to lunch. They're not recruiting agents. They're not throwing up on agents. They're just bringing somebody to lunch. Bringing them to, to see and hear from someone who knows what they're doing, explaining it. And if you had 100 agents, and let's just say these agents, they're not selling huge amounts. I'm going to be ultra conservative. 
And let's say the agents only close a million dollars worth of business a year, just a million, okay? In different markets, that could be three houses, four houses, 10 houses, not really sure, depending on the market you're in, in the United States. But if they do a million and they're doing it at 3%, that's $30,000 gross commission, of which you get three and a half percent, which is 1,050. So we average around 1,000, a little more, a little less, depends. Yeah. You know where they are. Everybody does it, cap. Certainly on the first three levels, three or four levels. And um, you could be making a hundred, it's possible you could be making a hundred thousand dollars a year. If they're doing two and a half or three million in sales, you could be making as much as 300,000. Imagine in three years, if you had a residual income stream coming from real estate of between a hundred and 300,000 a year, would that change your plans, your life, yeah. your career? How many agents have you helped do that in your career? Oh man, I mean, now I'm going to, I'm going to say that it's got to be 50. Yeah. And how many, 45 agents, or 50. how many agents do you think are getting a thousand, 2000 a month, uh, in extra thousands of them, quite frankly, thou because of this program without question. Yeah. Yeah. Many hundreds, maybe a thousand, 1500 that are making a thousand. That's huge 2, for an agent. I mean, I know most agents on here know you make a significant amount of money in residual income through this RevShare program. Maybe yeah. they don't if they're new, uh, but it's, it's a lot of money. All right. But most agents don't get that. They don't, you know, they, it's over their head. Well, but if you can show them how to make a thousand, 2000 a month, that's really it's it. huge. And for every five agents that you personally enroll, it unlocks another level. So if you notice that it's five, 10, 15, 20, 25 agents, 40 agents, is uh, to max out the program when you've got 40 pays on, on level seven. So one of the things that I said, I had set a goal that when I joined the company, I said very simply, I want to, when I first started, I want to enroll one agent a month. That was it steady. Talk to four or five, maybe have one of an agent enroll a month for three years. That's 36. 36 would get me paid through the sixth level, not quite the seventh level there. And I figured I could help those 36 agents become 500 agents. And if they're all only doing about a million dollars a year, that'd be earning somewhere in the neighborhood of about a thousand dollars per agent. Five hundred agents, that'd be five hundred thousand dollars a year. That was my goal. Three year goal, right? That was my three year goal. <laughs> I had no idea that that would happen for me in less than a year. Yeah. And that today I've got five hundred agents a month joining the team now every single month. That's unbelievable. Um, it's grown to the thousands and thousands. It is now. a rocket ship. It's it will crazy. be ten thousand agents by the end of this year. Um, that's just, just on your team, just on my team, you know, and the company itself on my first seven levels, there's more past the seven levels, but that just solidifies. I think it makes the people on the fifth, sixth and seventh level, very happy, yeah. you know, and, uh, but the company now we're up over 20,000 agents. I don't know the, the exact number what's been uh, put out to the public, but I know they have said that we're definitely over 20,000 agents. So Ralph, I hear all the time agents, you know, they say, well, I'm not a recruiter. What do you, what do you tell that agent? Because we're not talking about recruiting. We're talking about attracting. Agents. No, I, it's, it's not about recruiting. It is about um, attracting people of like minds. We're looking for people who are looking for us. And what I have found is that when I meet with people, I'm, I'm asking them lots and lots and lots of questions. I have a, I mean, a whole book with really literally of questions to ask them. Many times is, you know, what is it they're doing? How long they're doing it? Are they still as excited about it as they were when they first got started? You know, what's the thing that they like about the best of where they're at? <coughs> what, what company, which did they leave because there was a problem or did they go because there was something wonderful? Some people are motivated by pain and some people are motivated by, motivated by pleasure. And I don't know what they are. So talking to them, asking them questions. And um, eventually I'm going to find a need, want, or desire. And I said, you know, I know, heard you mention such and such. I said, if you were serious about that, I'd really like to get together and talk to you about that because I think it may have something that, that could be of interest. You know, so that's just simple. That's simple. I've, really. I've heard you do it many times. I mean, yeah. just in passing, it may be the Uber driver or it may be someone at a hotel. Well, I love, I love being it when we go out to dinner and talk to different um, uh, servers and I ask them, do they know anybody in real estate? And it's incredible how many of them say, oh yeah, I've got my cousin, my brother, every time. And I get two or three names. And sometimes it's, really simple. it's, yeah, it's just not that hard right. if you think about it, right. you know, on a regular basis. So we've got people now that uh, have got uh, 10, 20 agents. I've got a, 
a gal I've been talking with and working with for about four or five months. And she now, uh, when I first started uh, really spending some time with her, she was making about $1,200 a month, you know, in revenue so share, pretty good, decent, yeah. right? Five months later now, she's up over $10,000 a month. That's right. You know, and she says, I mean, I'm making $100,000 a year passive on top of my sales. I can't, and that's taken me about six months, you know, and, and she says, I feel like I'm not doing enough. And I said, you're doing plenty, yeah. you know, just relax with it. You're such an overachiever. You know, there's people that will work for years to try and get there. You people know, people would kill for $10,000 oh, residual passive income. My goal, long-term, my goal, if you're on this webinar, you're part of our team, my goal is that a hundred of you are making over a hundred thousand dollars a month in revenue share and a thousand of you are making over a quarter of a million a year in revenue share that's a, over twenty thousand dollars a month that's that's my position that's my dream that's my goal you know for the team and we're certainly moving in that direction it's absolutely it's really exactly. it, it seems like we have new people combo. all the time that say hey i just hit fifty thousand or i just hit ten thousand i love the stories of people saying i just I got $800 this month Love and it, it paid my car payment or it paid for my new refrigerator or what it was. Or now my kids get to go, you know, to the special school for the summer or something. Yeah. It's just over and over again, we're hearing so many things. So this, this revenue share really is, it is a part of the business. It's not the, you know, it's, there's so many facets of it, but the revenue share is a big part of the business model. If you choose to make it part of the model. And, you know, I know for me and, and for you, Rob, that this is, you know, something that you're, you're passionate about doing because you you want to help agents. I do. You you don't need to work anymore. You don't need to do this. But right. you know, for those people that don't know your story, it's so powerful. And normally you start the presentation with your story. I do, but I wanted to be a little shorter today. Yeah. You know, what's interesting to find out is our team, my team of my first seven levels is, is getting close to 10,000 agents, right? And what we have found is about 5% of the agents in the company are actively enrolling and uh, attracting agents. Yep. More than that are trying, but 5% are- So the others are selling real estate. A lot of real estate, <laughs> lots of billions and billions of dollars, right? Mm -hmm. Well, what's cool is we had 500 people sign up and register for this webinar, which is 5% of, of your team. Of my team. It's just, it's hello, the numbers are the numbers, yep. but it just starts gathering momentum. You don't need a lot of people. You only need two or three people that really get it. And then just work on getting people and they will show up. who you are selling houses. You have no idea where they're going to come from, where you just live your life normally. If you're used to, I call it my three foot rule, that wherever I get within three foot of somebody, I put out my hand and say, hi, my name's Rob. Haven't met you before. What's your name? What is it you do? And if their energy's right, I keep on asking if they're really weird, I run away. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Goodbye. You know, just depends on it's true though. You it only is. want to work with people oh. that you know have a great energy. I like that. we have amazing energy on our team. It's really incredible. It is we've attracted. And so it's the fun part that we're that we're doing now is we really like when people get their 10. That's a big deal. You know, get your first 10 person enrolled. Then another incredible step is when you when you surpass a hundred agents on your team, that's a big deal. Then the next thing is, you know, you get quite a jump when you get to say 300 to 500, it starts taking a life of its own. And all of a sudden there's people that are joining your team that you don't know that are in a different state that you didn't talk to that. And it just, it gathers momentum as it goes. Nice. And then when we start seeing people hitting a thousand agents, oh my gosh, their life's massively different yeah they disappear they, Hawaii they start Cancun. for four or five months it seems you know <laughs> yeah. and then they start uh uh they start showing up again and they want to start moving on and mm -hmm. 2500 seems to be a big deal yeah. and a great shout out to brent gove out there who has surpassed 5,000 on his team that's, that's a whole other momentous oh, uh, a deal nice. and and we're in, just excited in a about two years he's done that. in a little over two years kind of incredible and I tell them, I still believe the biggest, most successful people have yet to join the company. Yeah. Tom you know? Trong, are you there? Yeah. Think about that, Tommy, <laughs> just so I want you to know. Um, okay. I need to get the clicker again. I just got to. How about that? Well, let's see. There you go. That's right. Here we are. Okay. 
Yeah, so, I mean, the EXP solutions, you know, th there really is a ton of technology at EXP, and I tell agents all the time that, you know, the most important thing is it's a smorgasbord of, of technology. When you come on board, you're going to have access to more things than you can ever wrap your brain around, but you want to focus on two or three things. And so the big thing is the EXP Enterprise, that's a back office where you can track your stock, where you can see how many people you have on your team and where they're located, where you trend track your transactions, make sure you're going to get paid on time. Uh, Skyslope obviously is you know our, our, our system for transaction management. Uh, from what I understand, what I understand is very simple to use. Uh, workplace, we are the number one workplace user by company in the world, and that's kind of a back end to Facebook. It's truly incredible. I think we have over a thousand groups in there. If you're not using that, it's a great way to communicate with the agents, to, you know, to get your questions asked. Uh, just a lot of great content there. And then, of course, we talked about the CRM uh, already. If you're not using a CRM, you're really not in business yet. I mean, every agent should be using a CRM and using this program also to generate leads. That's really the basics is business. adding to your database. Every single day. Your CRM you work. You should be adding four or five names every single day. Some people's goals is... 10 names a day. Um, but if you're adding one or two names a day, you do that consistently till it's a habit. Yeah. That's 68, that's 60 names a month. That is seven to 800 names a year. But you're dripping on you, now you, you do that for years, you've you got a, a serious business and you will get business from that. Yeah, okay. and I love the fact that EXP encourages that. So um, you go ahead and next slide. I was just saying, you know, it's like the buzzword now today is, is EXP. 20 years ago, the buzz was Keller Williams, no question about it. I remember I was there. I helped build the whole Western United States and rode that wave. And I was able to retire 15 years ago with a six-figure passive income because of Keller Williams. <laughs> and, and now what I'm seeing is that every, at every event, at every seminar, at every um, symposium, the buzzword is EXP. Have you heard what they're doing? Have you seen where they are? Have you heard their growth? Have you seen their volume, have you seen their sales? Do you see, wow, did you know who's part of it now? I never imagined. I mean, it's the, it's the buzz that is everywhere. Everybody is talking about it. And yet the majority of the people don't understand that. I have no idea. In it's fact, what I find is when I talk to people, I said, you know, I really like to talk to you about eXp. I love the way Brent says, you know, just say, hey man, have you ever heard of eXp? And they look at him and say, well, yeah, I have. I know all about it. And I go, okay, well, cool. Well, tell me about the stock program and and the icon program, if you will, because I'm a little confused on that. I'd like to have, you know, a little bit of help. And they go, well, I, I, they, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I said, well, okay, well, don't worry about that. How about just the revenue share deal? Right. I'm, I'm really want to getting my head around that fourth level. Yeah. You know, can you, and they, <laughs> well, I, I, so I said, sounds like you really haven't seen it. You don't know. I said, well, we've heard it, but we don't know that much about it. And um, you should really see it and understand it. Just for your own education, um, you don't want to say, oh, I could have had a V8, you know, I mean, it's, it's the kind of thing. Now where, you're showing your age. I know. It's, it's that, that's an old thing. That's an old thing. <laughs> Been around a while. All right. So 80-20 split. So every agent that comes on board, uh, the XP is on an 80-20 split. Yep. Uh, what I love is that 20% that goes to the company is how we all get paid back. That's where the stock comes from. That's where the revenue share comes from. So really, truly, that is, is the money that we get back. Because EXP literally has very little overhead, so all that money is relatively the overhead to the to the revenue. Because yeah, compared sure. to the franchise model, right. oh, yeah. there's no overhead. I mean, right. right. That. I mean, uh, so there's a sixteen thousand dollar cap, and then you're hundred percent after that. Uh, the costs are really simple to get started, and you can start today. Uh, it's one hundred and forty nine dollars to get started. That gets your business cards, your lead generation site, your conversion site, some folders for your listing presentations, access into the EXP world, access in the workplace, gets you all your stuff set up. Uh, there's a, and that also includes your first month tech fee and your, uh, and, and the other fee, the $35 a month for EXP. Those are the only two week or monthly transaction costs. So it's $85 a month to get everything we talked about. If you only got conversion, for that'd, be a good deal. Deal. that'd be a hell of a deal. However, we are talking with the company about altering that $85 a you month. We're cat out of the bag. I, I'm just, I'm constantly Golly. talking about you did it to them. Did I, <laughs> we haven't done it yet, I don't think. No, nope, but I said we are fighting constantly 
uh, to get rid of that or be part of that because I just I just don't think it's necessary. That's all. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. But, we'll uh, see what happens. Shout out to Dave Knord if you see this. Yeah. And uh, twenty five dollar broker review. That's, that's worth a transaction fee only. It's on your transaction that goes to the broker right. in every state uh, that, that's the state over the transaction. And then there's a forty dollar risk management fee, or you some people call it an E and O. And that actually caps. Right. So I know it, when I owned the Citrus 21 franchise, our number one profit center was our e &O. Interesting. Number one. Because we, they just we never asked $500. Yeah. The most thing it's like an 11 and a half transaction. It's a hell of a deal. Yeah. And so if you think about it, and, and, and again, going back to what you said earlier, agents get caught up on the 16000 That's because they're thinking about cost. Rob Flick's not thinking about cost. He's thinking about opportunity. Right. And so we're looking for agents that are thinking about opportunity. We want to turn real estate agents into business people that are selling real estate, not just salespeople that happen to be in business. And whine about how much they're spending every month. Right. We want you to have something that's going to give you lifestyle, that's going to give you a future, that's going to uh, affect your family and the lives of others, without question. Yeah. That's sure. more than just I'm, you know, I'm selling houses now. Core values. Now we got a lot of them. You know, I, I like that one that says "fun." That's my favorite. Let's have fun. Uh, and be it, agile. This was fun. We should do this. <laughs> this more was often. fun. I'm not as agile as I was, but I can still. <laughs> but you're sustainable. <laughs> I'm sustainable. Yeah, and I collaborate. And I will tell you how to cook that Very food. transparent. That's right. And innovative. I'll put anything on the plate. Yeah. Well, we got uh, Jeff White. White's here on here. He's innovative, and he can help us out with that next time. That would be awesome. Yeah, and so. Fun, community, service, all, all of them are great core values. And it's important that a company has core values. It's very We're important. making live of it. But we are. It really is, you know, truly a, you know, a, a good moral guide and a compass for the company. And this company is doing Well, if people will live by these, it really is spectacular. Absolutely. There's no question about it. Absolutely. And we want to be sustainable. We want to be here for the long term. Mm -hmm. um, that's exciting to us. And the fact that our founder, and a shout, shout out to Glenn, he's so transparent. You know, it's, I, I truly love that core value. And, uh, you know, he's do, doing an amazing job uh, with this company and, and where we're headed. Who knows where we're going to be five years from now. And it's already been a rocket ship because I can only imagine. It what is. We're talking about well, I just, I just, when I sit down and I start thinking of where we were three years ago, and we just start, wouldn't it be cool if, wouldn't it be cool if we did this? Wouldn't it be cool? And right now we've surpassed everything we ever used to talk about That's in the amazing. beginning. So now we're actually expanding our thought process and we go, wow, wouldn't this be amazing if our team people had this and had that and, yeah. and the company was now doing this and they added this. And I mean, that, yeah, it's. And you know what's really cool? Huh? I feel like I'm just getting started. I know, <laughs> I know. It's like Gene said, it's real estate starting to be fun again. It is. Without question. I'm having a blast. Yeah. So how do you sign up for the EXP? It's really simple. Get back with the person. It's real important. Someone invited you to this webinar today. Do the right thing. Name them as your sponsor. They're responsible for getting you here. They're responsible for taking their time and their energy. They deserve to have you on their team. Do the right thing. Call them back. Text them. Email them. Tell them you're ready to get started right now. They'll see that every person has their own join link or you can go to join.exprealty.com, you know, and again, do the right thing. Name the person that invited you here uh, as your sponsor. I would like to add a little something there too. Yeah, please. You know, because when we have these lunch and learns and people are inviting people to come to the lunch and learns all over the country, it's really important that you respect the people who invited the person, especially if you know them or they're a friend of yours and you go, ah, I should have called you. I see you. Don't go over there and try and convince them to not join with that person, but to join with you. That is totally out of culture. Totally. If, out if of you, culture. If, and unacceptable. And totally unacceptable. And if you, if what, what we hope that you will do is if you see someone that you know, that's been invited by somebody else that you help them say, yeah, this is a great decision. And so-and-so who invited you would be a good person for you to be with. They're Absolutely. working hard and we teach them how to invite and we teach them to uh, have integrity in that part. Don't be spearing other people. We've seen people do that. And they've had to have a couple of reputation conversations. Gets very quickly. It's really quickly. And we don't want people coming. If they're coming there just to hang out to grab people, yeah. you know, which we've seen a little bit of that. Not massive, no, but here's always one or two. It's always seems to be in every, in every, every so often. And we're just saying, 
put your mind to that and think about that, okay? Yeah. Respect the, the people right who have invited them to do the right thing. Yeah. And so you can join today, you'll fill out the application, uh, you can actually complete the ICA, and then the broker of the state will approve you at that point. Then you can make it official. Nothing's official until after that, then you move your license. So it's a simple process. You could be on board by the end of the day tomorrow, and we look forward to working for you. And, and who knows, maybe we'll do this again someday. Right? I think I think it's possible to do it again. And I, I do want to give a shout out to the onboarding group and what they've done. They have come along so much and yes. so far in the last several years that we actually had a person that we met with in the morning, that we chatted and talked with. They were onboarded by four o'clock that day, that very same day, 100% all the way through the system. That didn't happen for years. <laughs> that did not happen. And so my hat's off the onboarding. Right. I know you guys, guys and gals are doing the best that you can to bring people on smoothly and quickly and efficiently, and we appreciate that. Thank you very much. So everybody have a really great time. Uh, glad you were here with us. And like Scott said, um, this was fun. It was and fun. We may want to do. Uh, we may want to do more. So we're looking for your questions. If you've got questions you want to uh, ask, please chat away with that, and we'll make sure that someone gets back to you with the answer. So have a great day, and thanks for coming.